Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new Harmony Hub. Now this is a device that will allow any smartphone to be used into a remote control for all of your TV needs. And I found this very useful because of the fact, of course, that my Note 5 does not have an IR blaster anymore. So we're going to set up the new hub. And we can do this by hitting the button on the back of the hub. And so you can see on the screen right here that you have it just on the back of the hub. And it's a little red light before you have it, but it'll turn green after you hit the button on the back that says reset. And once it does that, then it will search for the hub. And as you can see, now we're pairing with the hub. So the hub has been found. And now you just need to give the hub the password to your Wi-Fi connection, which that's what we'll do right now. So then once we do that, then you're going to create a Harmony account. Uh, if you have an, a Logitech ID, then you will just sign in. Or if you don't, which I don't yet, we're going to just create an account and we're going to set that up right now. And as you can see, once we have signed up, it will start to update the Harmony software. And on my hub right now, it's blinking red because it's getting updated. So right now we've downloaded the software, it's installing. It says it can take a few minutes. So as soon as it's completely set up here, then we'll set up our hub to connect to all of our devices at the entertainment center. All right, so now it's just giving us a showing of just what everything is. So we have our phone, we have our hub, we have our remote, and we have our IR blaster. And it just gives you an idea of how to position each one. The remote obviously stays with you. Your hub can go in a cabinet if need be, but you want to make sure your IR blaster is where you can see it at all times, simply so that you can get to it next. And now uh, you can copy it if you already had an existing Harmony remote. So if you're coming from an older Harmony remote, you can actually just copy an existing one. But in this case, we're going to set up a new one. So we're just going to set up a new one and we're going to show what kind of devices we have. Now this is how many devices you can control from this. Since it does connect to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it really can control your entertainment devices, your home control, if you have, say, uh, some lights that are able to control over Wi-Fi, you can control them through here. You also have your computer you can just turn on from here, and you can scan for any other Wi-Fi devices you may have. So for right now, we're just going to go to Entertainment Devices, and we're going to go for TV and monitor. So we're going to go for our TV, which is Samsung. And then we would have to find our model number out. And unfortunately, I don't know it off the top of my head, so I will have to go find that in the back of my TV right now. And as you can see, once you just put in the model number, it's just that easy. It found it automatically. You don't need to check anything. You don't need to test it. It just finds it automatically. From here, you can add more devices and so on and so forth. So you'll be able to add certain things, such as even uh, gaming systems, which is something that I could not add with my IR Blaster on my previous phones. So it's a really great feature and just continue to set up all your devices and it'll be nice and easy. Alright guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.